G'day everyone and welcome back to another video. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be going down to a beautiful bay that I've actually never fished before. I'm going to be chucking around little crab lures and Z-Man grubs to hopefully get onto some brim and whatever else will bite. The bay is full of structure and full of fish, so hopefully we can get onto a few. We've got an hour's drive ahead of us, so enough of me talking. Let's get the camera away, let's get on the road and let's get to the spot. Right, first up with the cranky crab under this bridge. It's my first, not bridge, jetty. First time actually trying proper brim fishing, so. Give it a crack. Yep, there's a fish. Drop. All right, there we go. First little brim on the cranker crab. See you, mate. Good fish. Look at that. Looks like a little crab, eh? Oh, that was a good hit. Kidding. That wraps so far up underneath that dock there. It's pretty good here for you because it's really sandy. Yep, there's a fish. Oh, that's a good rim. I'm going to have to tie that up a bit. Oh, he's got me under the rocks, I think. Oh! Man, that was a good brim. He got me under the rocks. It did. Well, at least I still got my leader. Bugger! That was a good fish. Alright, just going to change up to a Z-Man grub. In the mode royal. Classic. I just lost that big brim around there. He grabbed it, took it me straight under the rock. Oh well. That's fishing, so get one of these on, get back into it. Alright, got the classic Z-Man motor oil grub. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> Does look pretty good. Right, we'll let this one come in and then we'll go over. Oh, good hit. Good hit. Yep. Bummer, oh, that was a solid hit. Yep, there's hits. Yep, 
Oh no. Good hit. Yep. Got it. Wow. That's a big broom. That's a big broom. Just taking me down here. Oh, there's so many oysters. Yeah, good brim. Chunk of a brim. Keep him up. Look at that. Oh, what a fish. Big brimbo. Oh, oh. Perfectly hooked in the side of the mouth there. The grub. Still not happy. Oh, look at that for a horse of a brim. Taking on the grub in the corner of the mouth. Ew. Alright, just dropped that Z Man grub down the side of the oysters over there. Pulled this beautiful big brim. The fishing's getting really hard coming into winter, so pulling fish like this is really, really exciting. There we go. Hooks are out. Let's get it back in. Probably check my leader. It's fine. Also, sorry if the fight on that brim was um, a bit all over the place. There's just so many oysters here and I've got to try and manoeuvre him around so he doesn't snap me off because I'm only using five pound litre. You can hear it. Hear what? I'm trying to climb down this. Yeah. I wouldn't go that to Melanie. We've still got a bit Hello pelicans. If you ever get a snag, this right here is probably the best way to get it undone. Sends like a bit of a shock down your line. And sometimes, not every time, but this is your best chance of vibrating it off. Oh, you're kidding me. I didn't get time to film an outro yesterday because it got too dark, so that's why I'm here now. Before I give like a proper outro, I just wanted to give a rundown of the gear that I'm using. I'll start off with the lures. First of all, I was throwing around this little cranker crab. Now this is an Australian made company. They make these really realistic looking crabs. I've actually never properly used them until yesterday. And well, I got that first fish on it and I dropped that really big brim, which I'm still bummed about. But that's alright. Great lure, a bit tricky figuring out the technique, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. And then for the second lure, there's the classic 
Z-Man Grub. You can't go wrong with the Z-Man Grub. It catches everything. Flathead, Trevally, Taylor, especially Big Brim, as you just seen. Great lure, extremely easy to work. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend getting one in your tackle box. All right, now the exciting part. Time for the main gear. My brand new Shimano setup. I've got a Vanford 2500 size with a Zodius rod. Beautiful combo. I'll show you a close up in a second. All right, onto the rod. It's a two to seven kilo, seven foot rod. Really lightweight and absolutely beautiful in the hands. Now moving on to the reel. We've got a Vanford 2500 size. Super good drag, super clean looking design. And the good thing about this reel is it is extremely light. So this combo paired together is a match made in heaven. I also forgot to mention the braid. It's Shimano Kariki 8 pound. Overall, had a great day out exploring the bay and finding new ground, getting onto a couple of fish and getting some tight lines. Anyways, guys, I'm going to pop my Instagram up on the screen right here. If you'd like to go give me a follow, feel free. And if you'd like to subscribe and like the video, I'd much appreciate that as well. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one, legends. Yeah.